Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Ah! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage, implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana, and I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. Shall I continue? Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students, Victoria Chase. You're fucking joking, right? Victoria tried to cheat off me, and I stopped her. You should be thanking me. I think what my daughter is trying to say... Miss Price can speak for herself, as she often does to her detriment. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. 
Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Go, Mom. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? He calls us high risks. High risks? What kind of a label is that to put on a child? Oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Will you be dragging every other scholarship student into your office today as well? Tell me, will unfounded rumors about drug use also be mentioned, or is that only reserved for my daughter? Damn. Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. 
No. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is so. What such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price. I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? 
Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you?
Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Max would have loved this shit. Gotta face my mom at some point. Might as well be now. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. What could the Tempest use more of? All that's left is to get arrested. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. No more extracurricular activities. 
No more curricular activities either. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten until today. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Elitist Blackwell bird. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment, which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. 
Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry. But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Sure. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. You watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Hey! 
There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Sure, this isn't what Rachel meant when she talked about going to LA to be a model. Then again, it's probably not what this person meant either. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Now this is a vortex club, I wouldn't mind joining.
Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. This rug has some miles on it. Don't want to leave yet. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Puddles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Smile, bitch. This is no good. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. First, you take my mom. Then, you take my home. K fuck you, David. No, not going over there. Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. Magical battery goes here, soon as I magically find one. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? You're a long way from the beach. Don't tell me what to do. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. This mat has seen some things, mostly feet.
This one won't work. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. American Rust. <laughs> Sounds about right. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. I know someone who would be very happy here. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes, okay? Good talk. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Yeah. 
This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Don't want to leave yet. Light the way, Robobulb. A pirate fly? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> Or er, something. Now this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Better head back to the truck. Hope my passengers enjoy the smell of sea salt and junkyard. I guess that's a hole in two. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone? Like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break.
You only get one chance to make a first expression. This'll give intruders something to think about. Technically, we're all about to die. If you take a wide enough view of things. Looking good, Robobulb. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. <laughs> what do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Yep. This'll do. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and... In my own time I'm trying to reach out I know I'll get there soon There's a hole Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? I miss him so much. I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. 
Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? Dad? What are we doing here? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> of getting burned. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? 
Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm... That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step fuck. Because he's a stupid fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. 
Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Hey, you ever try picturing what Principal Wells does when he's not at school? I see, like, a bed covered in teddy bears, and he's tying a little necktie around each one. That's weird. I'm a weirdo. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery badge. <laughs> 